This video is going over our priority standard 12 and 13 test. So this is going to be going over the practice test that's going to help you be ready for our statistics test. So it's a statistics review. So the level two review says here's a dot plot of, data, of a data set. Which statement is true about the mean of the data? Remember the mean is when we add all numbers, add all data, and then divide by number of data points. So you could find the mean for this one and add four plus six plus six plus 6.5 and add up all of those individual dot values and then divide it by how many dots there are, which is 20. And then you could find out what the mean and answer these questions, or you could use some, just some logic. So the mean, remember the mean is the average. The mean is less than eight. The mean is equal to eight. The mean is greater than eight. There's not enough information to determine the mean. So we definitely have enough information to determine the mean because we know what the data points are. So we're just going to look at our dots. So we know our dots range from 4 to 8.5, okay? But most of our dots are between 6 and 8.5. So it's saying the mean is less than 8. It definitely could be less than 8 because, look, at if I was thinking of my average numbers, my average numbers aren't going to be, um, it's not going to be equal to 8 because 8 is more on the right side of our data, right? So more on the high end of our data. So I'm not going to say it's greater than 8. It's not going to be equal to 8 because this isn't showing like the average of our data very well. So I'm going to say it's probably not equal to 8, but it is less than 8, okay? Because on average, more of our numbers are between 6 and 7.5 than there are 8 and above. So our average will be less than 8. So that's why I would pick that one. But again, you could add up all of our numbers, do 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6.5 plus 6.5 and add up all of our data points and then divide it by 20 because there's 20 data points. And then you could find out what it is exactly and then you can answer maybe more confidently. But that's, that's how I would go about that, that level two question. Okay, level three question. 10 students each took a math test with 10 questions, okay? Um, this list shows how many math problems each student answered correctly. What is the median score? So median is the middle. So before the, I find the middle, I need to line up my numbers from smallest to biggest. So I'm going to line up my numbers from smallest to biggest first. So we have three. I have one four. Um, I have one five. I have one six. I have one seven. I have two eights. I have two nines, and then I have one ten. So I've used all my numbers. I still have ten numbers in my data. So now I can find the median or the middle number. Okay. So I'm going to go back and forth to find out what my middle number is. So one, two, three, four, five, so it's between seven and eight. So I know, I know what number is between seven and eight, it's 7.5 or seven and a half. But another way to do it is to add those two numbers and divide it by two, and that splits those numbers in half. So seven plus eight is 15, and 15 divided by two is seven and a half or 7.5, okay? So our median is 7.5. Our mean, remember, is when we add up all of our data points and divide by how many numbers there are. So um, we're gonna add up all 10 of our numbers, three plus four plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus eight, plus nine, plus nine, plus 10. And then we're dividing it by 10 because there's 10 numbers in our data. So, um, and again, you can use a calculator for this one. So to speed up the process, you obviously don't need to use a calculator, but we'll use it to speed it up. Okay. So when we add it up, our top is 69 and we're dividing that by 10. So when we divide by 10, remember we just move the decimal to the left one time. So 69 divided by 10 is 6.9. So our mean is 6.9. And remember mean is the average. So when we add up over data points and divide it by how many data points we have. Um, so the level four 
I'm gonna come back to, I'm not gonna show you on this video. So I'm gonna just go over level twos and threes on this video. Okay. So level two, here are the birth weights in ounces of all the puppies born at a kennel in the past month. So here are the birth weights, create a dot plot of the data. So this is nice and easy. So we just put a dot for each data point. So above 13, we're gonna put one dot. 14, we have one dot. 15, we have one, two dots. 16, two dots. Um, 17, we have one dot. 18, we have two dots. 19, we have one dot. 20, we have one dot. Okay, so there, that's all you have to do. Easy peasy. Okay, question three, for level three, says this dot plot shows the number of children in the families of 19 sixth grader, grade students. So we're gonna have 19 data points. So like all of the true statements about the data used to build the dot plot. So first one, four students have at least three, at least four kids. So at least means four kids or more. So I would be looking at this data, four kids or more, at least four would be one, two, three, four. And it says four students have at least four kids. Um, yes, one, two, three, four. B, the mean amount of the children was two, okay? So the mean is the average, right? So we have to think of each of these as data points and we're adding them all up and then dividing it by how many data points we have. So we know we have 19, let's just double check. One, two, three, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, good. So I'm gonna add them all up and then divide it by 19. How I'm gonna add it up this time is just kind of make a total, zero plus zero plus zero, zero, one, 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 so one, two, three, six, six here. This is, each of these are two, two, four, six, eight, three, six, four, eight, twelve, and then this is six. So I'm gonna add up those numbers just to kind of speed it up. So I'm adding um, zero plus six plus eight plus six plus 12 plus six, that's what I'm doing. So I got 38, so this is 38, and then dividing it by 19. So divide it by 19, and it's two. So our mean is two. Okay, more than half of the students have three or less kids. So three or less kids. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15 out of the 19 kids. So I'm gonna say, yeah, definitely more than half is that. Last one, the difference between the most kids and the least kids is six. So the most kids is six, the least kids is zero, six minus zero is six. So yeah, that one works too, all of them work. So make sure you show your work of how you got your answer rather than just circling them all, because that won't count. Okay, here is a box pot level four again. Try this on your own for level four, and you can check answers with Miss Young when you get started. Okay, level two on this one. So here are heights of 30 flowers on the school garden. In the school garden, in centimeters. So here they are, they're already from least to greatest. Complete the frequency table and draw a histogram. So this is, this is not too bad. So we're gonna um, write how frequent is the height from zero to 20. So I'm gonna count all the ones that are from zero to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here, it's funny because it shows 20 and 20 here, but really zero to 20 should be zero to 19, okay? And then the next category is gonna be 20 to 39. So we don't count things two times. Otherwise, if we count it two times, then our data is gonna be messed up. So you're welcome to write down one less than each of these last ones. So you make sure you don't accidentally count them twice. Okay, so from zero to 19 are these numbers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna put six here, that's how frequent. From 20 to 39, I have one, two, three, four, five. So five there. From 40 to 59, um, I don't have any numbers from 40 to 59, so I'm gonna say zero. 
from 60 to 79. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. From 80 to 99, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From 100 to 119, I have one, two, three, four. And from 120 to 139, I have one, two. Now, now that I have my frequency table, I can create a histogram. Remember, histograms are just like the bars that are connected. So from zero to 20, I have six. So I go to six, draw a bar. For 20 to 39, I have five. So I'm gonna go on next and I'm gonna connect those bars. From 40 to 59, I have zero. So don't draw anything on that one. Then I have 60 to 79, I have six. Um, 80 to 99, I have seven. 100 to 119, I have four. And then the last one, 120 to 139, I have two. Okay, so that's your histogram. You're welcome to like shade it in so it looks nice. Make sure you don't have a bar on the 40 to 61. Jesus. Okay, but there's my histogram. Nice and pretty. Okay, level four. Or level three, any question. Two groups went bowling. Here are the scores from each group. So we're going to create the five number summary for each of them, and then we're going to draw two box plots. So we need to know how to do a box plot for this one. So this will be fun. So before I find the five number summary, I need to order my numbers from smallest to biggest. So I'm going to start with group A. So group A, my smallest is 60, then I have 70, then I have 90, then 95. Okay, yeah, I'm making sure I'm not making a silly mistake. 100, 110, 120. Okay, so first I'm gonna find, my minimum number is easy, it's 60. My maximum number is easy, it's 120. So now I'm gonna find the median, my middle number. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. My middle number, this is my median. This is 95. Um, so then I need to find quartile one, which is my middle of my lower data. So I'm just finding the middle number, which is this one. This is Q1, so 70. The middle of the top half of my data. Notice I'm not including the median, since it's a number that I already circled. So the middle of the top is 110. So I'm gonna use that to create a box plot. Um, let's, yeah, we'll just do it now. So group A, I'm gonna say is in red. So I'm going to put a dot above 60, a dot above 70, a dot above 95, a dot above 110, and a dot above 120. Okay, remember the three dots in the middle, you draw a box around them, and then you draw a line through the median dot, and then whiskers out to the maximum, and a whisker out to the minimum. And I can label this group A. Now for group B, I'll do in blue. So I'm going to make sure my numbers are ordered from smallest to biggest. So I have 60. Um, next one is 100. 108. 110. 120. 142. 150. Okay. So same thing again, my minimum is 60, my maximum is 150, so those ones are the easiest. Now I want to find my median, which is my middle number. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. so my middle number is 110. This is the median, which is also called Q2, right? Then I find the middle of my lower half of my data, which is Q1. So one, this is the middle guy, this is Q1. And then the middle of the top half of my data, notice I'm not including my median since it's circled, and that is 142, so this is Q3. I'm going to put 100 here and 142 here. Now I'm going to draw up my box plot for group B. So again, 60, I'm going to do it just a little bit higher so my dots lined up. So 60 is there, 100 is my Q1, so I'm going to 
to 100 there. 110 is my Q2. Um, 142 is my Q3. Um, and then 150 is my max. And then the three numbers in the middle, we draw a box around. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. And then a line through the median. And then a whisker going to our minimum number and a whisker going to our maximum number. Notice, and then I'm going to label this group B. Notice our whisker is longer here because the data is spread out more. Look at the big gap from 60 to 100. So this kind of shows that there's an outlier, right? Because the, the number is a lot different than the rest of the data. So that's how we do a box plot and find the five number summary. Okay, um, you can try the level four questions, ask Miss Young for help if you need it. And then you are continuing on doing the test review paper when you are done and other reviews. Thank you.